as we continued on the next cell, a woman was there. The Lord told me several things about her. I knew her name and where she lived on earth. This woman had been called into the ministry at the age of 15. At that time, she told God, Lord, I am not ready to enter the ministry. I am too young. Allow me to finish school and graduate. After she had finished school, the Lord called her again. She then said, I am married. I must focus on taking care of my children. Not now. The woman went on to raise her children. After the children were raised and they began to have a family of their own, the woman focused on raising her grandchildren. The Lord told me, I continued calling her throughout her entire life. But she disobeyed me and rejected her calling. The Lord asked me, Will you reject my calling? I said, No, Lord, I will not. But Lord, this isn't easy for me. The Lord said, I will be with you. It is I who speaks through you. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I will help you and guide you. I was crying. I made a promise. I said, okay, Lord, whoever rises against me may rise. Come what may, it doesn't matter. You promised me that you would be with me, so I will continue no matter what. I don't want to end up here. This is what I had been telling my pastor recently. I want to continue because I must fulfill God's calling upon my life. The Lord has revealed things to me about my personal life. The same lady had grown old when she passed away. She went to hell for disobedience. Over 5,000 souls were lost because of her. The demons in hell would tell her, look around. Many of these souls are here because of you. The woman in hell would cry. She looked at the Lord and said, Lord, forgive me for disobeying my calling. Forgive me for not responding to you. How many people on earth are in this same situation? When the Lord calls you and chooses you, you must obey. The Lord called me when I was just 17 years old. I knew absolutely nothing about the Bible. Since then, the Holy Spirit has been teaching me little by little. In hell, this woman pleaded with the Lord for forgiveness for rejecting her calling. The Lord said, you have no more opportunities for forgiveness. The Lord tearfully spoke to me. He said, do not refuse me. I have called you and chosen you. You are to be my watchman so that you may take my word to all nations. God chose for you to hear this message. Many people will not hear it. But God chose for you to hear it. 
The lady in hell told the Lord, I'm too young, I'm studying, I'm busy, not yet. Look what took place in her life. She has now repented for not having obeyed the voice of God, but it's too late. Now I ask you, what will you do? Will you obey what the Lord is commanding you to do? You are now being called. You have been chosen by God to reach the lost. We must fulfill God's will because He chose us to abide in His perfect will. If we do this, we will be in His presence for all eternity. Don't reject it any longer. Receive it. The Holy Spirit will guide you. Not man, God. God himself will guide you. Look, that woman was continually tormented by demons in hell. They would tell her, God had spoken to you and called you. You disobeyed the Lord and now you're here for eternity. I cried as I left that woman. I asked the Lord to forgive me for not wanting to preach his word. You know why I wanted to stop preaching? It is because some people accuse me of being a false prophet. After I had this experience, I don't care about their accusations any longer. They could say whatever they want, but I will keep on preaching His Word. The Lord told me, do not fear men, fear me. Don't worry about their opinions, focus on mine. So why should we worry about men's opinions and not the Lord's? Men cannot grant eternal life. Only Jesus is able to give eternal life. He and he alone has this authority. Worry about his opinion, not man's opinion. Even if people continually criticize you, don't allow this to be a hindrance. Don't allow that to make you quit. May their false accusations and criticisms cause you to rise up stronger. When the enemy uses many people to speak evil, God will use this to help you endure and press forward. The trials we face are difficult, but Jesus is with us. Jesus Christ will hold our hand through these trials. He said, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen? After we walked away from this woman, I wanted to leave. I wanted to leave immediately. I wanted to take off running and flee from hell. The Lord said, it hurts me that the love of many on earth is now growing cold. Many great tribulations are coming to the earth. 